Man, I think John Jones is one of the best fighters in the world. Oh, ever. Yeah. I, I think uh, I think he'll do do um, good against like the um, smaller heavyweights. But you don't think he'll do well against like Francis or yeah. Cyril Gunn? I think I think he'll take Francis down and, and you know. Do his thing. So I think he yeah. probably would. But I think if he get hit, if he get it's hit gonna once, be a problem. He, yeah. I think if he get, I think if he gets hit once, he'll probably get knocked out of that weight class. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you something about John Jones. What I noticed about him, and I noticed it too late after I fought him. His mind, it's his mind. His mind is is really strong. When I, when I fought John Jones, I I honestly underestimated him because I was in really good shape and I wasn't I didn't have any injuries. I've never lost a fight in that good of a shape. I was in Colorado training, and I was training there for a couple of months. My cardio was mint. I was in I was in the, probably like one of the best shapes I've ever been. I, and I was just like, there's no way I'm losing to this Ooh. kid. But his mind is so he's, strong. Yeah. What do you mean? Like, what do you mean by he, his mind? He has no weakness. Like, like right. no matter how the fight's going, he's, yeah, he did. He, he didn't there's, falter. There's he, no quit effort. Yeah. Ever, ever. Okay. And like, yeah. he's so strong mentally. Like when he fought Ryan Bader or Gustafin, he barely trained. Like Gustafin, it was a five round war. Dude. War. Like war. war. He barely yeah. trained for that fight. Like, but he goes in the fight believing that he's the best. Then when me and Jones fought. So Jones never, he don't hit hard. He doesn't punch hard, but he kicks really hard. So like, <laughs> he kicks like really, really hard. So like, we were in the octagon and we started to fight and he punched me, I punch him. All of a sudden, both our windows bleed. And you know like when your nose start bleeding, your eyes start welling up a little bit. Both of us bloody nose like 10 seconds into the fight. I'm like, oh shit, about to be alone. Like I know, I'm like, okay, we're gonna beat this dude. Like we're about to fight this dude. And then he kicks me in the stomach. He got, he's, cause so he's standing southpaw. So when I'm conventional, he can kick me under my elbow. And he kicked me in the side so hard, man. I was like, damn. <laughs> and then I, so I backed up. It's during, it's during the fight. In the fight, I was like, damn. So I backed up. I was like, okay, like, cause I used my cardio as a weapon. I want to go so hard that you get tired yeah. and then I could choke you. Yeah. Then I tried to, I was like, okay. So I start pressuring him and then he kneed me in the stomach. That was the one that got me. So he was like, he was tall, like 6'4". Yeah. So he like standing back there and he just goes, bow, and I walk right into the knee. And I was like. What John is, is the type of guy that does the type of shit that John does. Like when you open up a fight, when you're the youngest ever guy fighting for the title, and you open up a fight with Shogun with a flying My knee, knee. That's, that's a wild man. That's He's a mean. wild man. You know, I had a conversation with John when all the shit was going down with him, and I said, listen, dude, you're a wild, I called him up, I'm like, you're a wild motherfucker. And I go, and that's the type of guy that becomes the greatest of all time. Mm -hmm. You don't get to be the greatest of all time just being a normal person. And I go, and that's just how, that's just who you are. You know, I mean, I know you made mistakes, I know, know you've done stupid shit, but you're still the greatest motherfucker of all time, and you could show the world. Bounce back from this and show the world. You know, when... You've had all these setbacks that those those things haunt you. Yeah. Doubt, of, you know, all the shit that happened with him, all the terrible shit, all that stuff fucks with him. It's gotta fuck with him. John Jones, potentially the greatest fighter of all time, is too scared to fight again. He will never fight in the Octagon again because he is afraid to lose. Yes, crazy words. That is what Jan Blachowicz said. Former light heavyweight UFC champion Jan Blachowicz came out this week and that is what he said. Talking a bit of shit about the former champ, John Jones. Listen, when you look at Jones, um, and I'm not talking about his escapades outside of the octagon, we're talking about inside the octagon and the amazing career that he's had. And it really is an incredible career. The man has a record of 26 and one, 10 knockouts, six submissions, 10 decisions. One loss to Matt Hamill, a disqualification, which is absolutely nonsense. It was a 12 12 to 6 elbow, you know, but hey, whatever, he broke the rules. Uh, that is the only loss. The youngest UFC champion that the sport has ever seen, and a man that has not lost properly ever, beaten Daniel Cormier twice, had some incredible fights. Yes, of course, there's the whole issue with the steroids and the picograms and the problems with USADA. Jones did run rough shot through everybody. He absolutely dominated from when he won the belt against uh, Maurizio Shogun, who had destroyed him. Then he finished Quentin, Quentin Rampage Jackson, choked out Loyoto Machida in that sickening front choke, dropped him like a sack of potatoes on the floor, beat Rashad Evans, beat uh, Vito Belfort by key lock, destroyed Chael Sonnen. Then 
it started to become Decision City, okay? Alexander Gustafsson, Glover Teixeira, Daniel Cormier, or Vincent Proulx. Then he knocked out DC, but that was overturned by the Athletic Commission. He finished Alexander Gustafsson in their rematch, and he beat Anthony Smith. Ooh, John. Whatever, mm, yeah. John, whatever happened to John? Man? John is a, is a problem to his own self. It's yuck, man. It's yuck having to even speak on this, because. He's a guy that when he first came up, I remember watching him at UFC 94. Yeah, he, he, fought, he fought Stefan Bonner, and that was yeah. the first time I saw him fight on pay-per-view live. And I was like, yo, this guy's special. Yeah, he is. And yeah. I, I was a fan yeah. of him. Yeah. And he was a fan of me till I realized he wanted to fight me. And then he became not a fan, and we had this beef for a while, and mm -hmm. the fight never transpired yet. But then, when I see shit like this, even this one, when I saw this, I felt like I'm I'm empathetic. I, I'm a human being, you know? For sure, yeah. I, I'm yeah. like, man, Fancy, what a man. waste. What a waste of yeah. potential. Everybody different. Everybody can't handle God. Yeah.